Hello, book friends! I'm Allie, and today I am going to tell you all of the movies that I watched that I didn't know were books. And since then, I have collected the books and I have read majority of them. I don't think that I have read all of them, though. I have them here next to me, so we're going to talk about it. First up, and this might be a little shocking, um, The Shining by Stephen King. I first watched this when I was very young with my mom, and I had no idea that this was a book. I honestly didn't know this was a book until I was probably in my early 20s. So this book just somehow escaped me all of those years. I knew about Stephen King, and I knew about Stephen King's other books and movies, but I didn't know about The Shining. But I do now, and I have it, and I've been reading it, and so I'm going to fix that problem. Next up, I have a really old movie that was from my childhood, and I'm not sure that many people have heard about it because it is only on VHS, but that is Murder, She Purred, which this is actually Murder, She Meowed, but the movie is Murder, She Purred, and it was a movie that I grew up absolutely loving, and I watched it over and over again, and then I found out when I got older that it is actually a book, and it's actually a whole entire series. Rita Mae Brown and Sneaky Pie Brown have written a whole entire series of mysteries where people, where, well, the main character, um, Harry, solves mysteries with her cat and her corgi, and I love them. And I'm so glad that I found out that it was a book. And I would say that I'm, I'm glad that I watched the movies first, though, because that movie holds a very fond place in my heart. Up next is another one that I watched when I was very young, and that is The Princess Bride. I watched this movie so many times when I was younger, and then whenever I think I was in fifth grade or sixth grade, I found out that it was a book, and my grandmother got it for me, like, immediately when I found out, and I have read it so many times since then. This is one of my favorite books, and I absolutely love it. It is fantasy, it is sword fights, and it is bad guys, and it is wonderful. I love it, and if you haven't read this, you really should, and if you haven't seen the movie, you really should, because the movie and the book both are equally amazing, and this just gives you more information on the characters from the movie, so you get way more information if you read the book. This is so good. You should read it and watch it. After that, in my, like, teen years, I saw Stardust, and I immediately fell in love with Stardust. I fell in love with the movie. I watched it so many times. I have the movie, and then my friend came over one day to hang out, and he was like, hey, have you ever read the book? And I was like, what? There's a book? And he was like, yeah, you should check it out. And so I did. I bought a copy of it. And I love it! It's so amazing! You get so much more story, and it doesn't ruin the movie in any way. The movie is still exceptional, and this was my introduction to Neil Gaiman. And Neil Gaiman is one of my favorite authors of all time, so I can't thank him enough for having told me that this was actually a book, and if you haven't read it, I say you should definitely check it out because it's really great. Next up, whenever I was... In college, I saw Scott Pilgrim for the first time, and I, okay, the first time I watched that movie, I hated it, but I think I was in the wrong mindset for it. I didn't really know what I was expecting, and then when I watched it again, I was like, oh my goodness, I love this movie. It's amazing, and then I found out it was a graphic novel, well, a series of graphic novels, and I immediately started reading them, and ever since then, I've been in love with it because... It's great, and the movie is basically just this first graphic novel with all of the bad guys from the rest of the graphic novels. So if you want more fleshed out story and more like background on each of the seven evil exes, I recommend reading the graphic novels because they are really fun. And the humor in these, I just, I love it. it they're great. So while I was in high school, uh, actually right after high school, um, I watched Fight Club with my boyfriend at the time, and I really enjoyed the movie. I've actually seen it a few times since then, and I found out a few years later that it was actually a book also by Chuck P P 
Palinook. I don't know how to say it. So I, say, I think it's Palinook. But I haven't read this yet. Um, I've had it for several years because I, I bought it when I found out that it was also a book. And I've heard that it's really good. It's uh, like a character study of somebody who, it, like, I think has split personality, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. It's been several years since I last looked at this. But I do plan to read this one day because I am still interested in it. And it's really not long at all. So we'll see one day. This next one I just recently watched a few years ago and I loved the movie the first time I watched it and I, wa I watched it over and over and over after that first time and that was Howl's Moving Castle and then I uh, had um, one day I was talking to I think a cashier at a store and she was like, oh you like Howl's Moving Castle? Have you read the book? I was like, what? There's a book? And so I immediately went out and found the book and I read it all in like one evening while I was sick. I just stayed in bed and read the whole entire book and I love it. It is different than the movie though. The movie took a lot of liberties with the story and so it actually is a lot different than the book but both are still equally wonderful and I am really glad that I watched the movie first because if I hadn't, then I might not have actually liked it as much because it was so different than the book. I've found that a lot of times if I read the book first and then watch the movie, then I'm going to find flaws with the movie. So if I watch the movie first and then read the book, then I'm not so disappointed by it. Then it's more like, oh, I like that movie. You're telling me that there's more story? I can't wait. So yeah, that's just my mentality on it. And the last one, which my best friend actually gave me this movie and um, I watched it and I fell in love with it and I just recently this year found out that it was a book and that's Chocolat. And this is by Joanne Harris. I watched this movie when she gave it to me. This was several years ago and I loved it and I've watched it several times since then and I had no idea that it was actually a book and so I found out this year and I finally got a copy of it just, I just got this like a couple weeks ago but I, I found out at the beginning of the year that it was a book and it made me super excited because I loved that movie so much and I'm excited I've only read a few pages of it but I'm going to finish this before before Christmas so I'm really excited and I will let you guys know what I think about it the last two books are actually children's movies. Uh, the first one is James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. I watched this originally as a child and I really loved that movie. I um, watched it a lot growing up and I found out when I got older that, which I knew about Roald Dahl also, I had read several of his books in elementary school, but I just didn't know that he had written James and the Giant Peach also. And so one day I was at Barnes and Noble and I found this book actually, this exact one. And I bought it that day because I was surprised to see that it was actually a book and a very thin book at that. And so I love this story. I think that it's wonderful. And I think that the movie is also wonderful. So either one, or they're both just fantastic. And the last one is How to Train Your Dragon. I saw that movie in theaters and I found out, actually I think it was just a few days after I watched the movie, I had seen online that it was also a book and so I immediately went to the bookstore and I located it and here it is. This is the copy that I bought. I um, have only read part of this. I haven't read the whole thing. It's a lot different than the movie and honestly, I think I like the movie a little bit better just because... I, I don't know. I just like the way that the story was a little more in the movie. This is a little more gross. This is definitely set for middle grade and the movie was just like a little more lighthearted. So they're both good and I think that this is a well-written book, but I do think that I enjoyed the movie better in this instance. So these are all of the books where I saw the movie first and had no idea that it was actually a book. And I am glad that since then I have found out and I now have all of them because 
all of these like hold a special place in my heart and I have loved all of these books or movies at some point and still do. So these are just some of my favorites, books and movies. What are some of your favorite movie adaptations that you may not have known were books or vice versa? What are some books that you didn't know were movies? I would love to know. Woo! <laughs> not nearly dropped that. I would love to know, so drop me a comment down below and let me know some of the ones that you like that I might not have mentioned. Until next time guys, I'll see you later.